Hi guys, my name is Annalisa. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick get ready with me video uh, starring the cremated palette from Jeffree Star uh, with the eyeshadow palette. I uh, wanted to do some more looks with it. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. So the first thing I like to use um, is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular, Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatments. Um, I take a pump of this, spread it with my ring fingers, and then gently put it around my eyes. I like this uh, Juice Beauty brand. Um, this is the first product that I have from them, but I feel like I've noticed a difference while using this in my eye area, um, so I do really like it a lot. Um, and next, I'm going to do my face oil by Monet. Um, I take the dropper here, put it on my cheeks, and rub that in to help moisten my face because I have very, very dry skin. And then next, I'm going to take my I Heart Revolution Strawberry Whip uh, Pore Blurring Primer um, and put that on my face. Next, I'm going to take the Shadow Insurance Primer for my lids, um, put it on my eyelids, put it all over. I like to go all the way up to my eyebrows because my eyebrows need it right underneath. And do that. So I will take my color corrector. I have the Jeffree Star color corrector to help reduce the redness on my face. Unfortunately, I've been blessed with redness in my face. So I do everything in my power to get rid of it. And get this bad boy going. All right. And next I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix uh, foundation and NC16 and put on my foundation. I kinda like this, I feel like a kid drawing on paper with like a really big crayon. And that makes me feel special. I blend this in. So next I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I have It Cosmetics Brow Power um, for to define my eye eyebrows because I have none. Um, I like to use this to define and kind of start outlining it. So next I'm going to take the Double Down Brow Putty from Urban Decay to help fill in my brows just a little bit more than they are. So next I'm going to take the cremated palette from Jeffree Star uh, to create a look. Um, I wasn't sure when I initially saw the launch for this if I was going to get it, but I did get it on the, its initial launch day and I'm glad I did because I really do like this palette. Uh, colors are very pigmented, it's very blendable, which are two things I look for in eyeshadow palettes um, and I like the, the gray scale of the the palette, it keeps, um, it challenges me. I usually go for pops of color, something neutral. This gives me a little bit of a challenge. So um, we'll start opening this up here and get started. 
Next, I'm going to take the shade Life Insurance here and start blending into my crease so that I can build on my crease there. And I'm just going to go in back and forth. Next shade I'm going to take is R.I.P. here at the top. I'm going to blend this into my crease as well to darken it just a hair. Next, I'm going to take Death Blow here and put it uh, underneath my eyebrow bone um, to highlight that. So let's do that now real quick. A cookie. A cookie. Next, I'm going to take the Morgue, which is this shade here, and bring it um, in between these shades to blend them. Um, in above my crease, below my eyebrow, um, just to give a little bit of definition there. Let's blend these colors together here. And then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush here, make sure it's clean. And I'm going to go in and make that a little bit better. Just so we're... Next, I'm going to take the shade Hearse, which is the dark black here. I'm going to put that on my outer V. And I only need a very small amount because it is super pigmented. I don't want to look like I have a black eye, so I have to be very careful of how little and how much I use. Less is more, you can always build it. But like right underneath here, I got a little bit and it looks like a bruise. So let's, I will clean up underneath my eyes after I finish them, but I don't wanna look like I got a bruise on my face. So next I'm gonna take this shade Afterlife. Uh, it's a shimmer shade here, I'm gonna put on my lid I am going to wet my brush though. Um, I find that that helps with the shades better um, with just about any shimmer shade on any palette. Do that. Take an afterlife. My brush. That's super pigmented. So next, I'm going to take Diamond Ashes, which is the shimmer white shade here. I don't want to put it on my inner corner. I'm going to wet my brush again for that shade. It's a very pretty color. It's going on super pigmented. So next I'm going to take the shade Embalmed here and I'm going to put it under my uh, under eye here to finish the look. So next I'm going to take my um, under eye concealer and clean up my um, eyeshadow here um, with my finger. I'm going to spread it out and take my blender and blend so that it looks 
neat here. Next, I'm gonna take my Big Ego Mascara and put on my lashes. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna put on false lashes today. I'm just gonna use mascara um, and build them up. I do have long lashes, but they are blonde, so I have to add black mascara to make them show. When I get it right, I can make my eyelashes uh, nice and long just using mascara. So I will do that. Let me get a couple coats on here. Get my other eye. So next I'm going to take my blush and lightly put it on my cheeks and to blend nicely. Then I'm going to take my highlighter from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm going to put a little on there. And then I'm going to take my bronzer, also from Kylie Cosmetics, and just bronze underneath. And then for my lips, I have Stila, was it Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick? This is the shade Patina Shimmer um, to give a little pop of color on my face. Give that a minute to dry. Lastly, I'm going to spray my face with setting spray to finalize my look. So this was my quick get ready with me starring the cremated palette from Jeffree Star. Um, this palette uh, was Recently uh, launched in May, which was when I received it, and then re-released again, um, I think, last week. And um, so you'd have to check out Jeffree Star's website to see if it's still available. I'm not sure, um, but I do really like this palette a lot. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to subscribe and like. I greatly appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.